Well, hello everyone. It's me, Cyrus. I want to talk to you about the thing that everybody's talking about right now, which is Xbox and the future or lack thereof of Xbox. Now, the fact is we haven't got a hundred percent definitive word on what's happening, but it definitely sounds like, and it looks like Phil Spencer is sort of saying big stuff's about to go down. And what that means is that the games from Xbox are going to be on other things. They're going to be on the PlayStation. They're going to be on switch. Probably some of them, maybe there's big changes happening. I don't know exactly what form this is going to take, whether it will be like some sort of some form of game pass that shows up on different things or what, but this is, uh, unfortunately, I believe the beginning of the end of the Xbox brand because if if people seriously think that Microsoft is just going to release another console in a couple of years and just just go let's just start over next gen like nothing happened and just go great guns and they'll have a new Xbox and blah 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 I think you guys need to really stop and think about what that what what that is that you're saying what and how it sounds if all of the Xbox games are on other things or at least most of them, most of the good ones, then why would you buy a console that only does Xbox if you can do Xbox and a bunch of other stuff on another box? You know, it really, it it makes PC more attractive. It makes PlayStation more attractive for sure. Potentially Nintendo, depending on how that goes. It's an interesting situation. Like I said, everybody's talking about this. I'm sure you're tired of hearing about it. But I just wanted to come to you from the perspective of somebody who has been pretty much a Sony pony uh, since the PS4 came out. Actually, I kind of moved to the PS3 at the very end of that. And then I was pretty much Sony throughout all of that. Now, that doesn't mean that I haven't owned Xboxes. You know, I, I owned the 360 I was huge love the 360 it's one of my all-time favorite consoles and then I bought an Xbox one when they got rid of the connect and the price went down I got an Xbox Series S and an Xbox Series X and both of those were actually pretty damn good and currently as you can see right here I do have an Xbox this is my Xbox um, this is my Xbox Series S I think I said series. I had bought an Xbox one S and a one X back in the day. That's what I meant to say. The naming has been a problem. (laughs) It's been confusing. Ever since they decided to go to the name Xbox one, people have been confused. Uh, You know, maybe some people found it easier to figure out what was what than others, but Xbox one, one S one X, Series S, Series X, it gets confusing. Even I've heard like hardcore Xbox people get confused with it. And that's just one of the issues that they've unfortunately had to deal with. And I think the bigger issue has been a lack of substantial first party exclusive titles. So You know, the solution they had was to buy up all these studios and spent billions and billions on all these studios, went through all kinds of legal nightmares trying to get Activision and and do all that. But yeah, just acquiring all these studios and then letting all the people go that would, I, I couldn't understand what was going on with that. You know, I had heard and... I had thought that X that uh, Game Pass was sort of becoming like a, like a pyramid scheme kind of like where they had to keep feeding new stuff into it, otherwise it was gonna die. And the problem that they've had is that they fed stuff into it, but it's not new stuff. They, they fed new acquisitions, but not new games. Not that many of of new games, good new games. Game Pass is an interesting thing. I, You know, I've never been a big fan of Game Pass because I don't like game rental services. I don't like that. I want to own my games, at least a license. I want to own at least that, you know? Um, 
and they make it impossible to be that kind of gamer on Xbox because they took away Xbox Gold. So if you want to play, you have to have Game Pass. I don't have Game Pass, and I can't have Gold. So I have an Xbox Series S sitting here that I use for single-player experiences. You know, and that's that's okay. I don't mind. I prefer single-player games for the most part. And there's been some really good deals in the Xbox store, which I have picked up some awesome older games. But I'm an older guy, and I prefer retro anyway. So the Xbox Series S is actually a pretty cool little retro box for somebody like me. But I know that the end is near. Xbox will never be what it once was. I know that now. I suspected that for a long time. Most of my friends that I've talked to about this have all... None none of this has been a big surprise, you know? Picky Old Gamer and I used to talk about this on Game Rambling all the time. We predicted this years ago that... Actually, what we had said was we thought Xbox would become an app. And it would just... that there would You would download the Xbox app on your phone and on your tablet and on your TV and on your PlayStation and whatever... And then you would just play Xbox games through the Xbox app, which I, I mean, that could happen, but I mean, Game Pass is sort of that, but whatever the case, Microsoft's future is not in the console space. It's not. Now they might (laughs) in the future put out some new console, but it's not, it's, it's never going to be what it once was. When you put all of your major assets out there on as third-party titles like Sega did, you don't walk that back. And I'll tell you what, I am not happy about this. I'm not, I'm not happy. Just because I have preferred to play on PlayStation, that doesn't mean that I wanted Xbox to die. I, I wanted Xbox to make better choices. I had hoped and act and dreamed that one day that Microsoft could pull their head out of their ass and somehow pry a victory out of there with that. And we could have the glory days of Xbox like we did with the 360. Cause guys, if you're, if you were a gamer in that era, you were probably a 360 gamer. It was a big deal. Xbox 360 was so good that when people would refer to video games, it was like in the old days when people used to say, you want to go play Nintendo? They would say, let's go play Xbox. Everybody played Xbox. Even the president, Obama, I remember a speech he gave, and he didn't say, tell the kids to put down the video games. He's like, tell the kids to put down the Xbox. I took that as a badge of honor. (laughs) <laughs> as an Xbox gamer, I was like, that's cool. But that's gone. Now, I'm a retro gamer, so I'm naturally inclined to be a little sappy and nostalgic, wear my heart on my sleeve, as they say, get caught up in my feels, you know? I get so emotional, baby. Anyway, that is me. I'm that dude. So yeah, this strikes me as a little bit emotional. I'm still going to enjoy my Series S. I'm still going to... I'm not. I'm obviously not going to buy a Series X. I wasn't going to anyway, but I'm definitely not now. But, um, you know, um, this stings. And it really stings not just for gamers like us, but for the industry. Because Microsoft bought up a lot of game studios. And are they going to be able to, what's happening with those? They let all these people go. What are they going to do with these studios? Just because you own the studio that made this, whatever franchise, that doesn't mean that franchise is going to ever make a new game. Who's going to make it? Because when Microsoft has tried to, you know, to take over the reins on things themselves, like with Halo, for example, We've seen how that's played out. I mean, that's the whole reason this mess exists, because they couldn't get the job done the way it should have been done. And now they're abandoning 
the Xbox itself. And I know there's a lot of gamers out there who are going to be upset about that and going to be in denial about that and going to have a lot of strong feelings about that. You might even get mad at me for even talking about that. That's fine. But, but just know this. I'm not somebody that wants Xbox to fail. I've never been that guy. Okay? And I never will be. But sometimes, sometimes things happen that you can't walk back. Sometimes things go too far. Sometimes tough choices have to be made. And I guess that's where we're at. I guess that's what's going on. So... I want to thank all my friends that I've known over the years who have enjoyed Xbox with me, and hopefully we can find ways to enjoy some of these games that we love so much. I know we've, you know, some of these games have moved to other platforms already, like, you know, the Master Chief Collection is on PC, and we've enjoyed, you know, playing some of that on there. But I hope, for, I hope there are more good times to be had with Xbox before this is completely over with. And I hope Microsoft sticks around for a long, long time in whatever form their gaming takes place. Because it is a great, it is a great name, okay? And I got, I'm, I, I'm holding a controller in my hand that's really well made, okay? And I'll always like this. This is a really good controller, the one that comes with my Series S. Very nice controller. I have a... Uh, a red one that came for the Xbox one. And it's also awesome. In fact, I've pretty much all the Xbox controllers have been really good. I mean, they kind of revolutionized what we expect from a good controller. Sony's probably, uh, you know, they've obviously been doing their thing for longer than Xbox has, but I think they've been influenced by the persistence of Xbox to put out good quality controllers. So there you go. That's all I got to say. I just wanted to say something because everybody is, and this is a strange time. Like I said, um, the history is there, the future. Well, for a little bit longer, Xbox is still around and we'll see what form it takes as time marches on. But, uh, thank you to everybody that, uh, that works at Microsoft and at, and at the Xbox team for trying to make something really amazing. And I hope that you'll continue to, to try to do that. And I hope you'll have success. I'm sorry. Things have gone in a direction that you didn't expect or didn't want, but uh, let's just hope for good times ahead and a good outcome from everything that, that will transpire. So that's it. I'll talk to you guys later. By the way, before I go, my opening and closing animation has a bunch of different references to different consoles. And if you never noticed, there's this lightning that appears behind the logo. Part of that is like half of that is blue and the other half is green. So Xbox has been present this whole time. I'll leave it with that. Thank you.